In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray this act of consecration to the Virgin. Let us pray for the healing of our land. To you, O Holy Mother of God, whose voice beckons us to go to your Son, we address this cry for help and shout out our pleading for mercy in our misery. We are perishing. You know the sufferings and pains we now endure. We, your beleaguered children, are walking, feeling crippled in the long and uncertain valley of darkness. It feels like darkness is having its fine hour now. We feel helpless to resist the reign of evil as the venom of hatred, bitterness, jealousy, heartlessness, anger, and cynicism creep like a serpent ready to coil us. You know the worldwide threat of sickness and death causing us anxiety. You know the calumnies and lies that we, your children, are daily subjected to. You know the creeping attraction of vulgarity and violence in words and actions that so many find funny, acceptable, and even imitable. You know the spreading power of atheist aliens in our seas and in our land, abusing our resources and mocking our dignity. You know the corruption, malice, dishonesty, and greed that is blatantly tolerated in the way we conduct politics and business. Loving Mother, please whisper to your Son that our wine has run out. We have lost the sweetness and joy of being your beloved. We are perishing. Save us. Please show us your loving care. As we make this act of consecration to you, dear Mother, we claim that in turn you will help us to witness the restoration of peace, integrity, and freedom in our land. May the redeeming power of truth overcome all lies, calumnies, and deceptive conduct. May the living water of mercy snuff out the corrosive fire of anger, hatred, and violence. May a new rainbow of hope be seen by all who feel powerless, and may justice and peace visit every heart. May blindness to evil and numbness to lies, mediocrity, violence, and vulgarity be cured by the touch of your Son's loving hands. Help us to see evil as evil and not make excuses for them. Restore to us the gift of tears of contrition, the gift of remorse for sin, and the gift of humility to repair the harm our sins have done. At the greeting of the angel, humanity and divinity became one in your womb. Help us to restore unity in our country, split for many and varied reasons. You know the islands and languages and regional cultures that divide us. You also know that the wounds of divisive politics among us are so pervasive and deep. You know the abyss that divides the poor from the rich. But you also know that these islands are united in the holy name of your Son. You know that we used to speak the common tongue of love until we started worshipping on the altar of hatred and vulgarity. 
May all divisions behind us, beside us, inside us, and in front of us be melted away by the power of the cross and death of your Son. For by this sign we shall find salvation. You have walked with us as a pilgrim mother through our history to bring us victory in war and restoration of lost freedoms. Embrace all your children now along our pilgrimage of faith, hope, and love that we may always remember the heavenly destiny awaiting us. When our faith in you is mocked and our hope of heaven is ridiculed, by the mighty on their thrones. Set our gaze on your loving eyes and teach us as a mother that evil never has the last say, that victory belongs to your shepherd son and in him alone, that the head of the serpent will be crushed soon as has been promised. You were in the church as the disciples waited for the Holy Spirit. Obtain for us again the grace of a new birth, so that we may live truly the power given to us to become children of God. May our baptismal brotherhood wash away all satanic discord. May the original sin of arrogant disobedience be washed by the humble blood of your Son. Loving Mother, dressed in sinless robes, you were free from all stain from the moment of your conception. Feel the punishment of sin that we carry in our bodies, in our families and communities. We groan in pain in our helplessness. We feel now the maggot of decay devouring our souls even while we still live because we have turned against your Son and against you. We have built many confusing towers of Babel and built temples to false gods of hatred and anger. We have forgotten the love we have promised you and your tender love for us. We have forgotten that the world is saved by the crucified, not by those who crucify. Do not give up shining your motherly hope upon us, the radiance that was yours when you assumed into heaven. Be our consolation in distress and our light in desolation. Help us, your children, who belong to your son's church, to stay faithful to our consecration to you. Lord Jesus Christ, worshipped and glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit, carried tenderly by the arms of the Virgin Mother, accept our offering of total consecration to the heart of your Mother through your most holy name and by the power of the same Holy Spirit that came down on the church in the upper room at Pentecost.
we are yours. We are all yours. Bring us back to your heart, and there let us stay until the end of time, never to turn against you again. Heal your people, heal our land, crush the serpent's head, and lead us to the new heavens and the new earth that we long for. Your loving promise to your faithful and deserving children. Amen.